Greetings, Sentinels fans. A few years ago, I made a video about Captain Cosmic and how he's not my favorite. Well, in the new definitive edition of the game, he's gotten a bit of an update. So, let's take a look at the changes, shall we? Man, do I love that Cosmic Hero theme. Anyways, one of the weird things about this deck is that it wasn't really changed all that much, but the changes that were made are pretty significant. His deck still plays essentially the same way. Give yourself or your friends constructs that can provide various bonuses. He wasn't given a complete overhaul like Fnatic or Bunker. Let's look at the construct cards first, as they are the ones that have changed the least. In fact, Cosmic Weapon, Autonomous Blade, and Energy Bracer are all completely unchanged. So someone at GTG or the playtester team seemed to agree with me that these ones, or at least most of these ones, were the ones good enough to not necessitate changing. Also, Autonomous Blade providing lovely Cosmic fan service. Dynamic Siphon, which used to activate upon receiving damage, now gives its hero the reaction keyword, meaning it now activates when the hero is attacked, but before the attack lands. This is good, because it means it is much more likely to activate, it doesn't give the construct an arbitrary shelf life, and it provides the edge case where you can avoid the damage altogether. The only real downsides to the change are cases where people would artificially activate it in Enhanced Edition by hitting it with Small Arms Fire. Vitality Conduit has the same downside, but more than makes up for it with improved consistency. It now gives two points of healing to its hero at the start of that hero's turn. Meaning you can pretty much guarantee at least one heal, probably more than that. For comparison, with four hit points and no healing, Enhanced Edition versions can only activate three times maximum before they get broken and there is a possibility they won't even activate once. With the new version, unless you made the silly decision to put Cosmic late in the turn order, you can almost guarantee one activation, and as many activations after that for every turn it survives. Wounding Buffer, like Dynamic Siphon, was also given the Reaction keyword, and a slight increase to its own damage. Here, the keyword is very nice, since, again, it can hit a bad guy before their attack lands but also it will not activate upon damage dealt by a hero target. This was a bit of an issue in Enhanced Edition, where self-damage or damage from other heroes would cause this one to react and be an active detriment to the team. Now the Cosmic Crest was the only one that got a significant change. It used to make Cosmic and his constructs immune to energy damage, as well as giving him a power that allows him to heal two hit points to three constructs. Now it gives Cosmic a defend one, and a power where he can play or discover a construct. It replaces a very niche defense with a more generally useful defense. It also leans more into the use of the constructs by allowing guaranteed play of one. Now losing immunity to damage is a bit sad because it can lead to some fun situational tanking options, but it is an ability that is difficult to future proof. Now some of the bigger changes in the deck come from the ongoing cards. Let's start with probably the biggest change with Heart of Gold. This is a brand new card that is quite a welcome addition to his arsenal. It gives Cosmic a power where he can discard up to three cards, and then he may give either himself or another player that many draws. And this bit of support is not connected to his constructs, so it's much easier to use. And on top of that, after the draws are given out, Cosmic can play an amount of constructs equal to discard, so he can get three constructs out with a single power use. Did they just slip a modified Requital Cosmic into this deck? Nice! So you can churn through your own deck looking for constructs. Or, if you have a very full hand, you can fill up someone else's hand and flood the field with weapons. The new Conservation of Energy seems to have taken the jobs of the one shot from the original deck and the Sustained Influence card. So every time a construct is destroyed, you draw a card. Which is good, because if there's any weakness to Cosmic now, it's that he needs a good strong draw engine. Especially for Heart of Gold. Though, it's less a weakness and more optimization. This card also allows you to take a construct from your trash and put it into play at the start of your turn before destroying this card. So, if you like a construct for a certain hero, you can get one right back. Destructive Response has a very small but quite vital change. First, another classic ripped up shirt. Now while the Enhanced Edition only triggers the first time a construct is destroyed each turn, this one triggers every time a construct is destroyed. That changes things. While this Cosmic still works best when you keep his constructs alive, 
This card means that each construct now works as a small bomb, instead of having them only potentially working as one. If the villain or environment gets a strong area of effect attack and takes out a bunch of constructs in one go, it may be possible to take out the source of the damage with all the ping damage from the explosions, therefore stopping the damage right there. You can get a decent amount of off-turn damage this way. Finally, Concentrated Animation puts a damage reduction of 1 to all constructs, as well as a single heal to one construct at the end of each of Cosmic's turns, in exchange for a discard at the start of his turns. Now, while I am in favor of any measure that makes it easier to keep constructs alive, I am sad that we lost the old effect. We no longer have a reliable way of getting constructs out of the trash, aside from the sustained influence replacement. Seemed a bit of a shame to replace that ability. Moving on to the one-shots, we start with Potent Disruption, with an improvement I like. Instead of destroying a construct and the damage being dependent on the construct's health, it destroys a construct and straight up deals 5 damage, the maximum the Enhanced Edition 1 did. It still has the issue of requiring another card in play already, but at least I have a guaranteed damage amount, and I could feel safe to break a damaged construct and keep healthy ones out. Harsh Offense has a new effect entirely, dealing one target 3 damage, and if that target still lives, draw 2 cards. I am a bit sad at taking the possibility of 6 damage away, but reducing it to 3, making it consistent, and you gain some extra cards instead of junking them is good, especially with less ability to get constructs from the trash in the deck itself. And finally, we have the biggest glow up in my opinion. Enhanced Edition Construct Cataclysm was easily my least favorite of Cosmic's cards, but now it's probably my favorite of his definitive cards. Maybe not necessarily the best, I'd probably reserve that for Heart of Gold, but this is a favorite. You know me. I like our Wrathful Retributions, our Lightspeed Barrages, and our Hawkus of Battle. I like the big game-ending hits. This one is not going to be as dramatic as those, but it can give a few black eyes. When played, you get the option to destroy as many constructs as you like. Already an improvement, as it's no longer a compulsory destroy all of them. And then he either deals a bunch of targets 3 damage, or one target a bunch of damage. However, it is no longer charged by the amount of constructs destroyed by this card, but the amount of constructs in Cosmic's trash. That I can work with. Yes, the constructs are likely more useful when left in play, but this shift no longer makes it essential to keep them in play. If they go boom, they can still contribute to an overall strategy. The constructs have shifted closer to the role of Tachyon's old burst cards, where even if the primary effect ends up doing nothing, you can still power up that huge hit. Constructs that will be immediately destroyed are no longer dead plays. So this card just offering this option makes me feel so much better about losing constructs. It's interesting. Aside from the inclusion of Heart of Gold, nothing really changed about how Cosmic plays. His base power didn't change at all, and his first appearance variant gave him an offensive option. But the only real changes to the cards are the inclusion of reaction keywords, adding Heart of Gold, and shifting the effects of some one-shot's non-goings. But how he plays is still mostly the same. But shifting the context of a few of these cards makes him so much more playable. He still has issues with his speed some of the time, and he can still be quite setup heavy, so he still has a need for draws and plays. And he does suffer a bit from being a little left behind in the power curve from Enhanced Edition to Definitive Edition. But he can hold his own now, when I felt he couldn't last time. Now Captain Cosmic isn't going to be a favorite of mine, but in Enhanced Edition I considered him a chore to play and a waste of a hero slot, but now, I will happily put him to the table. I hope you enjoyed this revisit of the character. I am very happy with the update. Take care, friends. So I have returned to this place. This should be fun. Now, losing the immunity to energy is a bit sad because it can lead to some fun statistical tanking. Statistical. <laughs> Finally, concentrated animation. Is it concentrated animation? I'm going to say con concentrated animation and I'm just going to use text in the, in the screen if I said it wrong.